Akwaba, and welcome to Good Morning Ghana. Today's talk show, we're going to be talking about the energy possibilities of Ghana and its future. We're going to start out with our fossil fuel experts. Where are fossil fuels today in respect to Ghana's economy? Um, fossil fuels are important for Ghana's economy, and 40% of Ghana's energy comes from fossil fuels. Do they make this energy themselves, or do they get it from other places? Um, Ghana can produce about 72,000 barrels a day of oil, but they still import a lot of it. So is this figure expected to change, the number of imports, exports? Um, we're hoping to reduce the amount of imports and produce more of our own. So you have um, a bunch of fuel sources that can be tapped into as a part of Ghana's economy. Will this be looked into for the future? Yes, we're hoping to make more use of our natural gas and oil resources. So, what would be your best advice on a plan for Ghana to take on fossil fuels? For short range, for a short term goal, we're hoping to use oil and natural gas and make sure that the usage is consistent with international standards for pollutants and cleanliness. Sounds good. Okay, now let's move over to our renewable energy expert, Brendan. How viable is different renewable energies? Because I don't think that Ghana has particularly very much in play, besides hydropower, that is. I mean, right now we have a lot of hydropower, but we have the geography for um, the solar, and off the coast we can put many wind turbines. I've heard that biofuel has had a history in Ghana. Is this true? Uh, yes. There was actually a um, toilet day in Ghana where they took human waste and turned it uh, into biodiesel. Sounds pretty crappy for them. What is your advice on renewable energy in Ghana's future? Um, all we need to do is just lessen the, um, the biofuels and hire it. We can just use every renewable and just combine them together and we'll eventually have enough to go 100% renewable. Do you see hydropower as um, a continuing effort as 60% of the energy today already comes from it? Uh, yes, we have, the, we have many plants, Aka, Somba, Capon, and the Volta Hydro plant. I think those will keep running and being a big part in the energy production. Alright, so let's go now over to our Ghana, Ghana, Ghanaian expert on how the Ghana's people feel on the many different ways of energy. Well, Ghana's people, they're really open to pretty much anything, but they need a diverse amount of energy resources to satisfy the different types of cultural problems they have and stuff like that. Do Ghana's people agree with um, the use of fossil fuels and the continual advancement in renewable energy? They do agree with that. They agree that fossil fuels will provide energy for the short term, but they are looking towards renewable energy sources for the future. How is the government in response to corruption and possibility of taking over these energy sources for their own kind? Well, the corruption in the government could be a problem because they're bad dictators and the energy money could fall into the wrong hands. Do nearby continents or countries uh, face any political challenges that could be a problem for Ghana? Possibly because some of the um, oil reserves come from neighboring countries such as Togo and Nigeria, and if those, um, if those energy sources are cut off, then that can be a problem for the neighboring countries. All right. Now, all this seems pretty bright and peachy, but how does this work in response to economical problems? Well, we're hoping to get more and more financial support from private companies, and if we make more plants, then we're hoping that those will be self-sufficient and we won't have to continue to pay for those and we'll just, if we receive more support in that way then we'll be able to put into place more plants.
Now I understand that if Ghana is able to export more fuel and energy to the surrounding countries, then it would be able to get a lot of income. So that's definitely a positive that is coming up. So is there any challenges, major challenges, that will be facing Ghana's economic growth? Not really, except for, we're, I mean, there's not been any kind of decline in donations and stuff like that, but um, we're, if those go down, that's pretty much the only, only way that we would have any trouble. All right, well, that's about all the time we have. Thank you for joining us on Ghana Today, and Aquaba.